Hello! Hey guys! Today, we are gonna do the Speech Jammer Challenge. So what we're gonna do is we have our favorite books when we were little. Boom! I got The Rainbow Fish by Marcus Pfister. And I have all the places you will go by Dr. Seuss. We have headphones mm -hmm. and we have the Speech Jammer device. Okay. Basically, the one who's gonna read the book will wear the headphones. Okay. And then I'll turn on the device. And what the device does is you say something in the microphone and it plays back half a second later. So when you read the book, your mind will be all jumbled up, so your speech will be all jammed. Let's give it a try. You wanna go first? You have the headphones. Let's I, do it. Yeah, I, oh wait, I just read? You just read. <laughs> <laughs> Marcus Pfister, the rainbow fish. A long way out in the deep blue sea, there lived a fish, not just an ordinary fish, but the most beautiful fish in the entire ocean. His scales were every shade of blue and green and purple with sparkling silver scales among them. The other fish were amazed at his beauty. They called him Rainbow Fish. Come on, Rainbow Fish, they would call. Come and play with us. But the Rainbow Fish would just glide past, proud and silent, letting his scales shimmer. One day, a little blue fish followed after him. Rainbow Fish, he called, wait for me. Please give me one of your shiny scales. They are so wonderful and you have so many. Wait, you're what? supposed to mess up, dude. I, how are you, you not? I, you just said read the book. This is not affecting you at all. It's like, I can hear myself delayed a little bit. You're supposed to like mess up. <laughs> what? <clears throat> oh, the place to see you'll go by Dr. Seuss. Okay. <laughs> <coughs> Congratulations, today is your day. You're off to great places and you're off in and away. You sound perfectly normal. Yeah, brains in your head. Yeah, brains shoes, shoes. And you can steer yourself in directions you choose. Your own and you know how to go. And and you know what you know, and you know the guy who will live this laugh of where you go. Okay. <laughs> That's what it sounds like when I did it. This is hard. How did you do it perfectly? <laughs> you look up and down on the street, she's looking over with care. I bet some of you will say, I don't get to shoot you, go get there. <laughs> with your head full of brands and your shoe full of. <laughs> what? <laughs> yes. Let me see. Maybe it's the book. Let me read that book. Okay, let me finish this. Okay, go ahead. This page. <laughs> <laughs> You're too smart to go down any no no go so good street. And you may find uh, any you'll want to go down in that case of course, you'll head straight down out of town. <laughs> yeah. It's opener there and the wide open air. That's good, that's good. Yes! <laughs> okay, you read this book. Okay. You read my favorite book then. Maybe it's the glasses. Maybe. Out there, things can happen and frequently do to people as brainy and footsie as you. And when things start to happen, don't worry, don't stew. Just go right along, you'll start happening too. Did I sound like he did? Oh. I don't know how you're doing this right now. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, my uh, laugh is annoying. Oh, the places you'll go. You'll be on your way up. You'll be seeing great sights. You'll join the high flyers who soar to height. To high heights. You won't lag behind because you'll have the speed. You'll pass the whole gang and you'll and you'll soon take the lead. Wherever you fly, you'll be the best of the best. Wherever you go, you'll top all the rest. Okay, that's not fair. Let me read your book. Maybe you're Okay, yeah, 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 that's what it is. What good were the dazzling shimmering scales with no one to admire them? <laughs> now he was the loneliest fish in the entire ocean. One day he poured out his troubles to this uh, fish. I really am beautiful. Why doesn't anybody, anybody like me? <laughs> I can't answer that for you, said the starfish. But if you go beyond the coral reef to a deep cave, you will find the wise octopus. Maybe she can help you. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> oh, octopus. The rainbow fish found the cave. It was very dark inside and he couldn't see anything. Suddenly the two eyes caught him in the mid glare and the optimus emerged from the darkness. <laughs> Not the octopus. <laughs> no! I have been waiting for you, said the octopus with a deep voice. The waves have told me your story. This is my advice. Give a glittering scale to each of the other fish. You will no longer be the best, but the most beautiful fish in the sea. <laughs> but you will discover how to be happy. 
I didn't do good at all. <laughs> I heard myself through the thing. I was like, gosh, I'm messing up. And then hearing myself mess up made me mess up even more. Oh, uh, it's okay. Hey guys, thanks for watching. We want to give a special thanks to Audible. They helped us hook you guys up with a free 30 day trial on audible.com slash wasabi. Go there, enter in any title out of the 180,000 titles they have and just start reading now for free. Audible is also awesome because they have a whole bunch of newspapers, magazines. They even have my favorite book in there, Steal Like an Artist by Austin Cologne. And yes, please, by the Parks and Rec star, Amy Poehler. If you're driving, if you don't have time to read, and you're on your way somewhere, or if you're waiting in line at an amusement park or anything, you just pull it out, listen to it, and get caught up on your favorite books. What I usually do, I usually listen while I shower. Because <laughs> showering, oh, yeah. I just stay in the shower for like 30 minutes just listening to the book. So thank you, Audible, for everything. Mm. Let's get out of here. Bye.